Hi, welcome to another video from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to assemble and demonstrate an educational mini turbine that is sold on eBay. This is a kit. It's not for practical use to generate power, but to demonstrate how you can generate electricity from wind. So what we do is we will put a fan to blow and rotate the turbine and it generates electricity by turning on the light at the end also we will measure the voltage of the output without the bulb with disconnected and see how much it generates and also then with the bulb we will see what is the output voltage so let's get started and explain how it works and do the assembly how this works is that at the middle we have a magnet which is connected here so this will rotate the magnet and around the magnet we have windings the two windings that are connected to these two wires so the winding starts from one side and comes to the other side as the magnet rotates the magnetic field is cut by these wires so when the magnetic field cuts continuously it generates electricity so if you put a winding in a magnetic field just momentarily, at the moment that it cuts it, it generates electricity, it makes the electrons move, but it will stop. So for that reason, you have to constantly uh, move the magnets. For that reason, this turbine constantly rotating the magnet and the magnetic field is constantly changing or cutting these wires so the magnetic field is cut and the electricity is generated this is a package that uh, i've received so let's see what is inside this package so we have these parts the dc motor has attached bulb in it so we have some hardware with a tiny screwdriver here and uh, these are the two plates and a Chinese manual so that's interesting okay so one thing that I noticed is that here it has the only thing that I know is this is the all kit and then there is number one so I could use that number to follow and then two three four five and then from here from five it jumps to six and then seven and these are the two examples of what it does so get one of this unscrew it and then pass it here then pass it from here So that is tight, tight enough, and then we need to have this one attached here. So to attach this, I'm getting one of those long screw, one of this, and this one, and like this. So this with this screw. So let's just attach it here. This will be holding this piece here to keep it in this direction. Video me kharab kadi baba. So the motor will go here. So we will have the motor here. And then the light here. So this piece will be here. Just pick up one of those screw. So two of those is enough. This hole is not 
straight so I'm gonna create another hole so that's just fine so job of this piece is to keep it stable I'm holding the motor here and then push it very stable pass this through one of the holes and then I'm gonna put the fan to blow and see if this light goes on so the job of this one is to get some light here so we can see the light and also this is keeping the motor stable so it doesn't rotate okay now I have a fan here that is blowing wind so this is a fan I'm turning it on let me see if I can include both in the same screen See that the light. So I'm, I'm trying to connect the a voltmeter here, so let me just strip it a little. If I have this at 1.2 volts and see. Okay, so the voltage So now this this is a 12 volts So if I put this at 12 that is 12 volts we are getting almost 8 volts now the light is off so let's now try it again ok as you can see the light is on and now this is set at 12 volts so that is 12 this is almost 4 volts So 3.2 volts. So that was a brief introduction. Uh, I will have a lot of other videos explaining the electromagnets, magnets, uh, introduce and testing different types of motor and generating electricity. So if you're interested, please subscribe and thumb up the video. Thank you.